How's it going guys? Phoebe here with another anime news. So to start us off, Funimation has finally announced that the first season of Free is getting an English dub on DVD and Blu-ray. Up until now, the first season of the series has only been released with Japanese with English subtitles on DVD and Blu-ray. While the second season, Free Eternal Summer, has been out for a while, it was released by Funimation with an English dub back in February of last year. You don't have to wait too much longer because this will be releasing on DVD and Blu-ray in July. Funimation has also announced that the series Go Sick, which was released all the way back in 2011, will also be getting a dub. They haven't given us a release date as of yet, so when I find out more about that, I'll have to update you all, but I'm looking forward to this. This is a series that I've wanted to have a dub for a while. I've got it on DVD and I haven't actually watched it, so this is rather exciting. Meanwhile, Sentai Filmworks will be dubbing the second season of Diabolic Lovers, and they've got a huge list of cast members that will be dubbing this one. If you're interested, I'll make sure to leave the link down below. This will be releasing on DVD and Blu-ray on March 28th. Sentai Filmworks is also dubbing School Live. They haven't given us a release date as of yet, so I'll have to update you on that one as well. I'm looking forward to seeing this because I haven't actually watched this series. I know, it's been hyped up and been talked about so much, but I have yet to watch it in Japanese, so I'm looking forward to watching it with English. I have some more Sword Art Online Ordinal Scale news. So Canada is the next country to be getting screenings for the film. They will be screening on the 17th of March in five different theatres around Canada. If you want to know which theatres they are, I'll leave the link down below. New game fans are excited to find out that the series is getting a second season. We don't know much about this other than the fact that it is getting a second season. We don't know how long it's going to be or when it's releasing, so I have to update you all when we find out more. So who remembers the series Shaman King from back in the day? Well this 64 episode series was going to be getting a reboot with a new anime. But unfortunately, the manga creator decided that it wasn't going to happen because he couldn't get the original voice cast or the original music. So that's a bit of a shame. He did say that it could still happen, but it looks like that we won't be getting a new Shaman King until he gets those voice actors and the music back. A few weeks ago, I talked about how the visual novel Nekopara had opened up a Kickstarter. Well, the Kickstarter has finished and they raised $973,376. That is a lot of money. This is going to get them an animated OVA as well as an extra episode for the game. We finally have a release date for the upcoming Seven Deadly Sins series. So this will be premiering in April and I can't wait. In manga news, the manga Akagi Majong is finally finishing. This has been going for 27 years and will be finishing up in February of 2018. Also finishing is the Danganronpa Gaiden Killer Killer. This only had three chapters and will be finishing up in April. In gaming news, Senran Kagura Estival vs is coming to the PC and is going to be getting new DLC for all platforms. The game is already on the PlayStation 4 and PlayStation Vita and the DLC they will be releasing to all platforms will be releasing simultaneously. This will be in the form of Ikitosen characters. We don't know when they'll be bringing the game to the PC, so I'll have to update you all when I find out that. And we also don't know the release date for the DLC themselves. Splatoon 2 fans will be excited to find out that the game Splatoon 2 for the Switch is getting a test fire. This test fire will be on between March 24th to March 26th. What you do is you go onto the Nintendo Online Store and you download a special demo of Splatoon 2. Pokemon Go is still a thing and we've finally gotten Gen 2 Pokemon in the game. There are a lot of new things that have been added, like new berries, new ways to evolve Pokemon, as well as 80 new Pokemon. The new berries and the evolution items can be obtained by going past Pokestops, and there are gender specific variations for the Pokemon. If you want to learn more about the new Pokemon and all the different items that have come to Pokemon Go, there'll be a link down below for you to check out. For those of you that have been excited for Akiba's Beat to be releasing on the PlayStation Vita, you're going to have to wait for a little bit longer because the game has been delayed from its release date of March 16th to April 27th. So that's a bit of a disappointment. The game is going to be in English and Japanese audio, so that's good. And if you really want to play the game and you've got the PlayStation 4, you could go out and buy it because it released last year in December. In figure news, Good Smile Company is releasing a Nendoroid of Tracer from Overwatch. So this is called the Skin Edition and she comes with three faces and a bunch of accessories. She's going to cost 50 US dollars to release in August. Rem from Ray Zero is getting a 1 7 scale figure. She comes with two different faces, one where she looks happy and then another where she looks like she's going to murder you. She has a tea set and a weapon and her headband is removable. 
She's going to cost 9,510 yen and will be releasing in December. Artifex is releasing a 1 8 scale figure of Serena from Pokemon X and Y. She comes with her Fennekin and she's going to cost 7,140 yen to release in July. And that's all the anime news I have for you today. What was your favourite article? Is there anything that you're looking forward to? Please let me know in the comments below. I look forward to reading it all. While you're there, please make sure to give this video a big like and share it out to all your friends. I'd really appreciate it and it helps me out a lot. If you're new around here, hi, I'm Bibi and I do a lot of anime videos like anime news, anime figure reviews and anime recommendations. So please go check out the rest of my channel if you haven't already. I'm sure you won't get bored. I've got social media, I've got a Twitter and a Facebook and I'm online constantly so make sure to come like and follow me on there. And if you want to see more from me and more videos like this then please make sure to subscribe for a wide range of anime content. From Moe Mika, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye bye!